Hey, Danny Lewis here. Welcome back. I'm here to talk to you today about listening. Listening. You may think it's not very important, but have you ever been in a sales cycle with uh, somebody who's trying to get you to buy something? Maybe it's over the phone or it's in person, and the guy's just going on spewing data about gigabytes of memory, RAM, or they're talking about policy, insurance, terms, conditions, comparisons, data, and you're just like, uh-huh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, and they're just spewing all this data on you. What's the problem in that cycle? Do you think that's selling? Do you think that could be a reason why you hate salespeople or hate the word selling in itself because they pressure you and download so many things you don't understand? You don't know if you can make a decision and they pressure you more and you pay for something that you don't even find useful when you buy it and you have it at your home when you want to use it you don't understand how to use it or it doesn't work or it doesn't even solve the very problem you went to the store or you called about to try to get result why because the guy wasn't listening so if it happens to you imagine what it's like when you start doing it to other customers they're experiencing much the same thing okay God gave us two ears man and one mouth for one reason listen more talk less Okay, so you need to listen to your customers. And when I say listen, don't just listen, you know, infinitely. I think that's a word. Infinite, indefinitely, forever, without ever acknowledging the person either, because then they don't know when to stop, and they're just gonna continue. And you just drain the guy with like, okay, well, I think I better get out of here now. And you're like, well, well what about the deal? You know, you already lost it. You need to listen selectively. Oh man, John, I can't do this deal right now. A bit of a rash decision I've been looking at something like this for a while and I think it's maybe not the right time but what did you hear there I'm not gonna make a rash decision that's what selectively listening is or hey we're not interested in doing anything right now we are talking about it we've been discussing it what did you hear I'm not interested right now okay or it is a lot of money but you know we have to look at what we can do to make this happen or got to discuss it with my wife I gotta discuss it with my wife. It is too expensive. That's selectively listen. You gotta actually listen to what the guy is saying. Don't assume, don't think it is something else that you've preconceived, because that's not listening. Don't overpower them with data and talk stats, figures, and whatever, and overwhelm your customer. Listen to your customer. Listen to their complaints. Listen to their objections about time, about the product, about money, about I gotta talk to somebody else. Listen selectively. Use two ears and talk on that and handle that, move in that direction, acknowledge that. It's very key you listen to people. So I've had people call me, try to sell me cell phone contracts, try to sell me insurance, try to pitch me Bitcoin, try to pitch me something else and they just blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, I'm not interested, I'm busy right now. Click, and that's what happens to you, okay? So that's my tip, I hope you dig it. Don't forget, subscribe to us on YouTube. Love to hear your comments on this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like this? Don't you like it? Let me know and have a 10x day.